Hello and welcome. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of circuit design simulation analysis, the effective use of Monte Carlo analysis in Altium Designer for efficient component selection and budgeting. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped to run an AC sweep analysis, execute a Monte Carlo simulation, interpret the simulation results using the simulation results panel, and ultimately making smarter analysis driven decisions for your design. So let's get started. Today we're working with a notch filter designed to highly attenuate signals around the 53 hertz range. So let's start by verifying if our design aligns with its intended function. Okay, so problem number one, the initial step is to ensure the notch filter attenuates the correct frequency range. To do this, we'll run an AC sweep of sinusoidal signals evaluating the performance of our filter. So let's go into the simulation dashboard and I will verify my design and in the analysis setup and run under the AC sweep. I'm going to set my start frequency around one hertz and then the end frequency being 100 kilohertz and I'll do like 100 points per decade. And for my output expression, I'm interested in the output voltage. So I'll click on my ellipses here and set this to magnitude in dB, okay. Then I would go into complex and then choose mag. And I'm interested in my node voltage called V out or just out. That will be in decibels. And let's set this to a bright color so that we can see what the output really looks like here. Now let's go ahead and just run the AC sweep. And as we can see, the circuit functions as desired. But the question remains, will this performance be consistent across all component tolerances in my design? So let's assume we typically opt for resistors with a 10% tolerance, right? So if I go back into my design, I can use Monte Carlo analysis, allowing me to account for the range of random component values that I might get when procuring parts for the notch filter are across many boards. So to perform the Monte Carlo simulation, we need to delve into the advanced settings in the simulation dashboard here. So I'm going to go into my settings and here I can just choose the Monte Carlo option. Here we'll set our capacitors to vary by about 20% and the resistors by 10%, and I will turn off the other elements that we can vary here. I'll click OK, and then run a new simulation, but making sure that Monte Carlo is selected, and then run that. OK, so the results reveal the potential performance variability of the circuit with these values changing randomly. Ideally, we want attenuation for signals at the target frequency to be at least negative 50 decibels, meaning that we want any signals that are hitting around the 56 hertz frequency range to be attenuated by a lot, by at least 50 decibels. This analysis gives us a clear picture of which components can tolerate deviation from their design values and which ones can't. Monte Carlo analysis facilitates better part selection decisions and aids in creating more robust designs that can withstand real world variability. Thanks for watching.